Okay, in this video I'm going to go over the um, the new BVH exporter, which you'll be able to download um, from my new website, where you'll be able to download um, um, uh, other things that I might put up there. Or you can, you know, I'm going to, instead of using the Wikisend, I'm going to put my, um, anyway, my files there, so you'll be able to see it. So anyway, so, okay, um, now the original... Well, okay. So this is going to be the new uh, hold on. Oh, not that one. The <laughs> it's one point five point five. That's not the right one. Um, you can. I'm going to show you the new one. Okay. I'm going to change this to where it will say 1.5.5, but right now I just have this set up um, so that when I click here. Okay, so this is the new 1.5.5 um, exporter. And you can notice a few changes. You no longer have the, 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 the root um, where you selected either the current or the top, which didn't never work anyway because I have it automatically set so that it selects the um, the hip bone when you click apply. So I decided to get rid of it because it doesn't make any sense to have something in there that actually doesn't do anything there, you know. So I took them, I took them out. So I cleaned it up the, the, um, uh, the interface a little bit. And you'll notice that the, the key range is option is no longer available. That's because that also for me never worked. I don't know, you know, I don't know if it's something I wasn't doing correctly, but it never really seemed to work. So it just made sense to remove that as well. And so that you just input from frame what to frame what when you want to export something out. So those are the things that I've changed with the interface um, and um, with this new interface. Uh, let's see. So let's, let's see how this works. I'm going to make a quick little animation just like before to show you that everything is working the way it should. So um, we're going to do start with the troublemaker, <laughs> the hip, and I'm just going to use the shortcut keys instead of uh, using the, um, the options key here. I'm just going to use the shortcut key on my keyboard to make things go a little bit faster, which is the letter S. Yours is probably the home key. So we're on keyframe one or the frame one. Oh, I don't have anything selected. There we go. Frame 1, hit S. Press S on frame 48. Come here to frame 24. Rotate. And we've just made a little animation. Okay. So now we're going to export out um, this animation. All you have to do is click Apply. And I had already exported one out before, but I'll click Yes. You know, mind you, this animation would have would have not allowed you to upload it secondly. And so I'm going to pause it and I'm going to log in. Okay, so here I am in Second Life, and we're going to we're going to show, I'm going to demonstrate the the animation that we just made. So I, I'm going to come here to upload animation, and there's delete me five EVH. If you remember, that was the name that it was given. And the reason. I like Firestorm because Firestorm does the preview on the actual avatar itself instead of the Linden Lab little preview window. And because it, it just shows you better. You can actually see what it's going to do um, much better. Uh, and the, the preview window for Second Life, I don't think you can see face bone animations or finger animations or anything like that. So, But with the Firestorm, you can. Plus with Firestorm, you get this, uh, instead of percentage in and out, you can do actual frame numbers in and out. If you want to. So, okay, so I'm going to, to loop this. And you can see it works. It, you know, because, I guess because we had this pinned, it actually, even though we didn't put keyframes on it, it actually um, um, did that arm. And it did the legs. This, because of the pelvis rotating in such a way um, to the clockwise, this would normally wouldn't be able to upload it and uh, you would get an error. 
Okay, and I'm going to show you also um, that if we go to a different avatar, whoops, a bit naked there for a second. <laughs> Saw some nipples. Um, it's okay. Um, so um, you can see it, it plays just fine on uh, an avatar with custom bone locations. <clears throat> Now her arm going like this is, is not doesn't have anything to do with the animation. Um, other animations are still playing because we only really animated the the M pelvis bone uh, in rotating uh, and both the hip bones, um, the M hip bones, and the M knee bones and uh, the M wrist bone, uh, elbow, and uh, shoulder. So other animations that are playing that are uh, maybe rotating the different like say the M pelvis bone. I mean, the M torso bone, <laughs> will, or the arm, the other arm, will still be playing, you know, because we haven't, it, BBH only exports out animations that have bones that actually rotate or translate. Um, so they're not overriding, so that so the bones that don't have any animations on are not overriding the, the other animations that are also playing on the avatar. So anyway, so you can see it works just fine. Um, let me demonstrate to you what that would look like if I had exported it out with um, export exporter. Um, well, I'll do it one with a, a, a 1.5, the old one, I think, if I can find it. I think I have it. Um, and the 1.6 to show you the reasons for those. So, okay, so I'm going to come here. Okay, let's close this one down. And uh, there's 1.5.1. I don't know if this is going to show uh, an error or not. Let's see. That might, this might have been after I fixed it. I'm not 100% sure. I reload the file. And yeah, see, this is one where I was still working on it. It's not working quite right. Uh, I'll try to, to get the other. Uh, exporter open and the old 1.5 and show you the the, the um, and show you the error so hold on let's come back here to here on pause this for just a second okay so I got the old exporter out like I said this top and current never did anything it did in the original Samantha Patterson version but I I made it so it automatically selected the hip uh, any skeleton with the root joint named hip automatically so you didn't have to each time uh, and this key ranged here never worked for me I don't know so I took it out as well so anyway so we're gonna uh, export it out and write over the 1.5 or the delete me 5 bit uh, BBH file I mean, it looks like it's working fine right okay but then when I come over here to second life and I reload the file this is what you get. Unable to read animation file cannot get position values. That's the error. Um, if I were to come back to he here and say change that from that to to that and I keyframed it, I just hit the S key, you know, that's why it says result 10. And if I were to export that out Come back here to, to here, reload the file. Now it works just fine. See, that was the problem. That was a due to a single typo uh, having the number um, two uh, instead of the number three. Um, there's like over 800 lines of code, so it's very, it's not, it, it, like I said, it took me almost, I worked on this thing for almost 20 hours until I finally figured it out, you know, so it's, it's not surprising that it, it was, it hasn't been found and fixed until now so um, and and if you didn't do that if you didn't rotate the avatar uh, clockwise you would never have known it was there so it's a it's a very it's a it's a bug that was maybe popping up once in a while for some people and other people who rotate the pelvis that way all the time would be like it happens all the time um, so but anyway okay so now I'm going to show you um, 
I'm going to go back to uh, here, and I'm going to show you what happens when you export with 1.6. Okay, so I'm going to close this one out, and I'm going to um, export out using 1.6. Okay, and I'm going to do the, the animation from here. I'm going to delete that frame. Even You don't really have to delete it, but just to show you that you can actually delete it. Do it and hit the S key again to keyframe it. And now I'm going to export this out with 1.6. Okay, now I'm going to come back here to Second Life, and I'm going to reload it, and you go, oh great, I didn't get an error. That's what happens. <laughs> this is the problem with 1.6. Um, even though these joints only have rotation only on them, um, even though they only have rotation only on them on the animation, it's exporting out the bone positions for those bones. And so, um, so we're, we're, we're getting, you know, we're getting this. The bones are moving into their default bone positions, and so it's deforming the avatar. Uh, I, I, there is a workaround for that. I have a video that I created, I think like a month or two ago, a couple months actually, that shows how you can get a workaround so that you can have, um, use 1.6 for because there's certain bones that you want to use. Trans I mean, if you're making translation animations on purpose on a bone, and and a you know, and but on other bones you're only using rotation animations. You want to make sure that the 1.6 uh, BBH file when you upload it to Second Life doesn't do this. <laughs> you know that it doesn't do that, um, and um, uh, you want to make sure it doesn't do that. You know, so you'll have to edit the, the BVH file manually in a word processor. So it doesn't do that to, to the bones that you only want rotation on. Um, uh, and that you want the... So anyway, so that's another video you can go back to and watch it. So if you want to use 1.6, I'm going to try to talk Samantha into um, perhaps modifying 1.6 for me so that when you have an animation use with rotation only and you're exporting out with 1.6, that it doesn't export out those rotations and um, and makes it so that it's a three channel instead of six channel. Like I said, watch the video and you'll you'll learn that more. But I'm going to try to see if she, I can't get her to fix it because it's I think it's a little bit beyond me um, or probably a lot beyond me. I mean, it took me 20 hours just to find one typo. <laughs> so, um, you know, I mean, I tried a bunch of other experiments during those 20 hours. I just didn't stare at the, the code for 20 hours until I found it. I was trying all sorts of things. And... Um, and I did update, um, I did update, uh, the interface, uh, I did update the interface, uh, and so I spent a couple hours doing that, and I also did some things, uh, where I took some of the advances, uh, some of the improvements that she did to 1.6, and applied them to 1.5, uh, such as, you know, the, it, it parses out the numbers better. It's, it's a lot cleaner. The BBH file itself is a lot cleaner. Uh, you probably won't notice a difference, but it, it does make, um, it does make a difference, especially if you're going to be trying to edit a BBH file. Well, actually, no, because you're not going to be editing a 1.5 file. But it, it just, believe me, it just, I wanted to bring over the improvements so that it made it more stable and all that kind of stuff. So I also spent probably a good six hours doing that of the 20 hours. So it wasn't just 20 hours staring at the code trying to figure out where that one typo was because I didn't know it was a typo. I did not know what was causing the error. So, all right. Uh, yeah, we're at the 14-minute mic. Oh, Mark. Okay. Another thing I want to tell you about is there's also going to be a second 1.5 um, 1.5.5 BVH exporter, but it, that's going to be geared towards multiple avatars. And um, its interface is going to look like the 1.6 interface, and the, but these are going to work. And the reason I'm going to do that, um, but I took the key ranged out. The reason I'm doing this is so that if you, 
I'm going to make another video. If you're going to be doing multiple avatars, say a couple animation, you want to do a dancing animation. So you want two people dancing with each other. And so you want two skeletons in the same scene and you want to animate them together and export them all out and all that kind of stuff. Um, you need, uh, for ease, you need the second uh, 1.5.5 for multiple avatars. And I'm going to make that available up on the website as well. Um, so that you can, with this, with this activated and working, um, how you select the skeleton you're going to be exporting out. You know, right now, it's set so that when you click export, it just automatically finds the skeleton with the word, with the root named hip in it. With 1.5.5 multiple avatars, this allows you to, if it's set on current, you have to select the skeleton you want to animate out with. So, um, and there's, there's actually three different sets of phone names that you can actually use to export out. You can use hip and, um, and, uh, see, animation skeleton. No, it also doesn't have that. Um, you can either have hip as the, as the root bone, or you can have, um, M pelvis as the root bone now. It used to be that you couldn't use the word M pelvis, but now you can. And, um, or you can use lowercase avatar underscore and then M pelvis as the name. Um, and you can also have all the bones in the skeleton named avatar uh, underscore M spine one, you know, and so that you have, you can have two complete skeletons in the scene with different bone names, but they're, they're all okay to export out as BVH. Um, so that to export out a particular skeleton, say, say this one was named avatar underscore M pelvis, you know, and had all the correct bone names. These aren't the correct bone names because they have two underscore in front of the bone names. But if these all had Avascar underscore and then, the, and then the bone name, that would be, you know, the regular bone uh, second life name, that would be fine. Um, so then you'd have two avatars with their own skeletons with different bones in the same scene. So you would export out one, the first one, whichever one you decide to pick, and then you would export out a second BVH by clicking the other one and then clicking apply to export out the second one. But I'm going to do another video for multiple avatars, but I just thought I'd let you know about that other exporter. Um, so, alrighty. So, I think this video is long enough. It's 17, almost 18 minutes. I'm going to be doing another video showing how to create uh, a static pose. It's very super simple, but I'm not going to do it in this video because this video is already long enough. So, we'll see you in the next video, and have a great day.